All right, here is your math video for the day. Um, kind of exciting, this is our last uh, multiplying, dividing fractions assignment uh, uh, for chapter 10. Um, tomorrow we'll be having those story problems, word problems. So we are just about done um, with, with multiplying, dividing fractions. And um, then we'll be going into, again, geometry and data and measurement and whatnot. Um, anywho, here's a little bit of trickery again with trying to show you what I'm doing um, and having a hard, you know, again, I struggle with this. But, um, so this is number two. Um, you will be doing, you'll be starting at number three, mostly doing the odds. It's, it's there in our math piece. Um, so here's an example from number two. Um, you have half, and that is being divided by six. And so what you want to do is I've tried to uh, lightly circle the, take the denominator and take the whole number, multiply it, and you get 12. Six times two is 12. Sorry to insult your intelligence, but there it is. Turn that into a fraction, 1 12th times 6. And then if you go to, you know, I'm down in this area here. Um, and then to turn 6 into a fraction, put a 1 underneath it. Put a one as a denominator, then multiply straight across. Probably should have drawn that, but remember, just multiply straight across. You've done this numerous times. You end up with six twelfths, and then you need to uh, simplify. It equals a half, and there is your half. So you are good, and so your answer is one twelfth. Um, you did this on Tuesday, a little bit. Um, yeah, half your problems you did on Tuesday were of uh, dividing the fraction. And then you did these on Thursday. Um, so hopefully a little bit more cemented into your mind. Um, there's another example. And these are these both of these lovely examples are in your math um, assignment error math course. And so this one we have one fourth divided by a fourth. So you take the denominator, which is a four. You take the whole number, which is also a four. You multiply those, you get 16. So it would be 1 16th. 1 16 times 4. Turn the 4 into a, a fraction. So put a denominator of 1. Multiply straight across. You end up with 4 16ths. You simplify that or reduce it and you get 1 4th, which is what we have here. So 1 4th divided by, and there we divide by 4. And you end up with 1 16th. I'm going to try to do a little bit quicker on this with this video because uh, they're not amazing. I'm trying to show you the math is, is, is tricky. Um, it tells you the pages we are on within our math coursework. Um, there's the examples there to work through. Um, and then again, it, you're starting with number three. So I think I'm the odd there. And then they're, they're listed out. Um, keep up the good work. Show me your work. Uh, I had plenty of emails just uh, last week asking if can you just work whoop, can you just work uh, can you just do your work on the actual worksheet page yes you can uh, it's a great idea please show me your work um, we need to see what we're doing so if we are making mistakes I can see what's happened there um, man yeah, so that is that um, and again congratulations that is your last um, assignment last formative assignment there. Um, before the test, before the test, which will be Wednesday and Thursday, again, which will be a front and a back of one of our normal um, test sheets. I'll go over that again when we get to Wednesday and then Thursday again, but just to kind of give you an idea where we're going, and again, then uh, Tuesday will be those stories and word problems. Um, anywho, <clears throat> good luck. Check your work. Send it to me. Ask your parents nicely, aunts, uncles, grandparents, or yourself about sending those uh Send me your work um, with the video. Not with the video, just with the photo. Thank you so much. Do well.